So boys, Klay Thompson has finally made his decision. He's going to be a Dallas Maverick. Klay Thompson has officially joined the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year, $50 million contract with a player option at the end of it. So let's get right into it. Klay Thompson, he's been a really big name in free agency the last couple of days. Things with the Warriors weren't looking too great and they were looking to part ways and that's exactly what happened. So let's break down this break down everything here talking about k thompson talking about the mavericks and uh, actually talking about the warriors a little bit here too so first and foremost clay thompson to the mavericks automatically makes the mavericks an even better team i mean in this deal actually it was a sign and trade that would send josh green to the charlotte hornets so they basically upgraded from josh green to clay thompson uh, you know obviously not as athletic as Josh Green, but definitely provides more on offense. Defensively, I would say it's a bit similar, but Josh Green, you know, as an athletic defender, could definitely help them more. But you know, Clay Thompson has that experience. So Clay Thompson joining Luca and Kyrie. A guy that fits in really well with what they're trying to do, because Luke and Kyrie, they're kind of like a one-two punch. And then Clay Thompson can be that spot-up guy that can hit off-ball threes and even a guy that can just handle the rock sometimes as well. So this is a great signing. I definitely would give it like an A minus an A, I would say, because I mean, it's three years, 50 million. It's pretty cheap. But with that type of money, he could just went back to the Warriors and ran it back. But I mean, for the Dallas Mavericks, I think it's a pretty much a steal of a contract. Player option definitely isn't the best. I mean, Klay Thompson, he's like, what, 33, 34. By the time this contract ends, he's going to be like around 36, 37, making, you know, 50 million. So we'll see. Or not 50 million, but uh, 16 million. So yeah clay thompson just fits in with their system jason kidd too and i'd say the dallas and mavericks running it back next season is definitely a big possibility they had a really good run in the postseason we saw all that with the clippers series the minnesota series i think it's definitely going to be a really interesting season for this dallas mavericks team clay thompson obviously not the same player he used to be he provides obviously three-point shooting and defense but definitely not on the same level in the past i mean he's definitely past his prime uh he's gonna be more of like a spot up guy and someone that can just hit the occasional three so yeah i mean what do you guys think about this signing i mean clay thompson he was rumored to go to teams like the nuggets teams like the lakers but he chose the dallas mavericks he just went to the nba finals so that's definitely some worth noting i don't know I mean, does this make the Mavs a bit of a better team? Obviously, I mean, the starting five would be Luka, Kyrie, Clay. I mean, who's there for? Daniel or PJ Washington and then Daniel Gafford. That's a really solid starting five right there. I mean, PJ Washington and Clay Thompson both providing some floor spacing with Gafford not being able to shoot. And, you know, between Luka and Kyrie being able to just handle the rock, I mean, offensively, this team is going to be one of the best in the west you know no pun intended so uh let me guys know what you guys think about this signing i mean the warriors they basically lost them for nothing i mean i've been looking around uh, in terms of like the signing trade and really all it just says is that uh, they're rerouting josh and green to the charlotte hornets so uh this news literally just came out like a couple of minutes ago so yeah clay thompson going to the dallas mavericks there's also been a lot of other signings too i mean tobias harris signed with the pistons uh hartenstein signed with the okc thunder which i'll be making a video on pretty soon um but yeah free agency actually has been pretty interesting so far uh, we saw chris paul go to the san antonio spurs to team up with Wemby. so uh that dynamic duo right there is going to be a really interesting part to play there in the in the west too uh no it definitely makes me nervous you know as a rockets fan because uh, we have all these signings and then the rockets aren't really doing too much but then again we're also just building through the draft building with our assets right now so it's definitely not the worst thing in the world but uh you know i feel like we're kind of just like missing out on you know guys like a clay thompson that could have went to houston you know a really good piece that could have went to houston in terms of what we really need which is three-point shooting i mean we just got reed shepherd for that specifically but clay thompson being a proven guy defensive guy too definitely would have helped a lot more so yeah i mean pretty short video here clay thompson <laughs> it's just it's crazy to me that he really left the warriors after a lot of a lot of seasons a lot, a lot of really great seasons with them i mean he was injured back in i think it was like 2020 2021 so uh, he did have that i think it was an acl tear so yeah clay thompson definitely isn't what he used to be but in terms of what he can provide to contenders like the dallas mavericks definitely has a lot left in the tank so um in terms of his stats from last season i mean clay thompson 
We saw that plain, plain season game against the Sacramento Kings where he shot 0 of 10. So hopefully he doesn't shoot like that with the Dallas Mavericks this season. But uh, looking at the stats right here, he averaged around 18 points per game, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 43% from the field, which is pretty low, but 39% from 3. Great stats in terms of 3-point shooting, but, you know, field goal percentage could be a bit higher. Clay Thompson, in short great signing by the Dallas Mavericks I'm definitely giving it an A not an A plus because I feel like the player option could be a bit iffy minus that though definitely a really great signing from the Dallas Mavericks and Jason Kidd so we'll see what happens with this team the the West is definitely packed here I mean with the Dallas Mavericks the OKC Thunder the San Antonio Spurs coming on the rise teams like the Clippers teams like the Lakers hopefully will fall off it's gonna be a new era of basketball it's definitely really interesting to see as the NBA goes on you know with LeBron getting to his later years maybe he has like one or two years left in the tank Steph Curry getting up there in HKD there really isn't a lot left of these all-time greats in the league so you know guys like Klay Thompson they really don't have too much left to uh, to play I feel like so yeah that's the end of the video hopefully we'll see some more news in free agency we'll be making some more videos about uh, the Spurs signing Chris Paul and then the OKC Thunder uh, trading for not only Alex Caruso but also for uh, Hart or uh, trade or uh, signing Hartenstein. So yeah, that's the end. Head them out.